We're back at St. Stephen's Hill on this edition of World Wednesdays because we want to give you some more detail about what goes into a, a mammoth project like what is happening here. We got the pumping station, a lot of work is being done on expanding that. We got two tanks to be erected, one is completed already. But it's more than the Barbados Water Authority and its team that is working with this project. Of course, uh, the Director of Engineering, Charles Leslie, will tell me a bit more about it. Charles, you're, you're working with not only a mammoth project, but a huge team to complete this job. Yes, Shane. Um, on this project, because of the size of it, the Barbados Water Authority um, is working along with approximately, there are about six or seven contractors working on this project. Right. Um, you have the engineering team, you have, you're going to have the, the, the civil works con con contractor. Um, we have um, two, two companies working on the pipeline. This right. is on the second largest pipeline that we have on the island is a 20 inch diameter. Mm -hmm. It's approximately 1500, just over 1500 meters between St. Stephen's and Lodge Hill. Um, so we needed to get assistance to be able to, to execute a project of this, this magnitude. Talk about the coordination that goes into that because you still have a timeline to consider. You want to complete it in the shortest possible time so that you are valued customers can get that service that you deserve and that you're paying for. Talk about the coordination in that regard. Yes, we had to do quite a bit of coordination on this. Um, obviously, when we first started, we had to um, redesign the pipe layout on the site to be able to accommodate the infrastructure that's going on now. So we had to do that. We had to be mindful of the school because when we first started, the school was still in, in um, you know, they were still having classes and, and so forth. Um, we are thankful now that they're off because we can move a lot faster. Um, the, we don't have the issues with the dust and the water and so forth going into that property. But we had to be coordinating even with the Barbados Light and Power. They have um, pretty two high voltage lines going along this site. Mm -hmm. um, so we, in, in terms of cutting the trenches and so forth, we always had to be in communication with them to ensure that we don't um, injure ourselves um, electrically on, on, on the site. Um, so it's a fairly complicated, intricate um, work that we're doing here um, to, to do this upgrade mm -hmm. um, in the system. I, I know the second tank still has to be installed. What, what's the latest on that? Yeah, because of we we're in the COVID period, we had issues with um, shipping and so forth. Um, and it didn't, it, this, this project wasn't exempt from that. Um, this along with a number of the other projects that we're doing on the island, we always have to be planning ahead and, and bearing those timelines in, in mind when we do things like shipping and ordering stuff. When we do the commissioning of the pump station, we will have hopefully both of them in operation. Um, and then we'll be able to stop the operation from the old pumping station, transfer stuff to this new pumping station, and then we will decommission that old station down here. Um, we'll be doing a similar thing at Lodge Hill when we get up there. Um, we're building, we have a station operating already pumping water to, to Shop Hill. We'll be, we're doing the same thing. We're building a new station, a much larger station, and then we'll be switching over the equipment and, and so forth. So it's an intricate process. Um, when you're doing all of this work, you're trying all of the time not to affect your customers. So the customers are still getting the water. Um, and, and once we finish this now, um, we do that transition without affecting them. It's all about minimizing that inconvenience to you, our valued customers. So bear with us. We'll get this project completed in short order as soon as possible. And of course, we'll continue to update you, especially those of you residents living in this St. Stephen's area, because yes, you might have seen some additional dust. It all comes with the construction and what we're doing here is making progress. Of course, thank you, Charles and your team you. for the great work you're doing here to view this or a previous episode again. Please visit our website, www.barbadoswaterauthority.com. Go to our Facebook or Instagram pages. You will see some of the action from this site and loads of content that we have there. Or just go to our YouTube channel, type in Water Wednesdays and subscribe. You can find us there.